I need you to imagine this with me. You're driving your dream car. You finally got it. You're driving through just an incredible racetrack out in the mountains. It's beautiful. The sun's setting. It's literally a dream come true for you, right? And the passenger next to you is playing you in a game of chess. So not only do you have to focus on operating literally your dream car and trying to set a track record, but you also have to focus on winning a chess game. So I think you and I can both determine that you're probably not going to do either. You're probably not going to win the chess game. You're probably not going to set the course record. And honestly, that's probably the best scenario because you might crash because you're, you're multitasking, right? And that goes to this notion that I think a lot of people believe in, myself included in the past, that we can focus on two things, right? We can divide our focus. We can have side hustles and they can work. They definitely can. I think that's true because mine have worked in the past, my side hustles. But the question is, is how well? How well does that side hustle actually work? Because I don't know if you're anything like me, dude, but I've been the type of person who's learning real estate, getting their real estate license. They're dropped out of school. They have a full-time job. They're learning and trying to understand crypto to day trade it while also trying to master sales. And guess what happened? I was below average in all four categories. I'm going to tell you a secret, dude. The most expensive thing you have is your focus. And a quote to justify and support that is be obsessed or be average by Grant Cardone. Anytime I've made quantum leaps in a specific area of my life is solely due to obsession. Whether it was my fitness in eight weeks, I probably made six months of progress just based off extreme obsession and the temporary imbalance. Sales, getting that business from zero to 20K in less than three months was extreme obsession. It's all about speed, dude. At the end of the day, I promise you this because if I was 90 years old and I said I did 20K a month, you probably say, so what? Now, if I said I was 18 doing 20K a month, you'd be like, damn, that's pretty impressive. Speed matters. It's extremely important. So if you have the capacity, granted, because I don't know your situation, right? But if you have the capacity to go all in on one thing, that temporary imbalance, and you can do it, right? Because I don't know your situation, dude. If it's within your cards, the, the hand you're dealt, that's what's going to get you to where you want to go or away from where you are currently. Because those are the two things that push us is running towards something or running away from our current reality. So if you have the capacity to do so, pick one thing, one freaking thing, dude, that has the most fruitful possibilities that you can really see yourself winning in and just go in on that. Don't be the guy who has a, a shoe flipping business, a drop shipping store, a, a car flipping business and waxes yachts and he's below average at both. Be the person who's a master of, of one because that's where the money is. Whether you work for someone else or whether you want to start your own business, if you're one of the best at what you do, there's money there. It's the reason why fucking LeBron's not playing soccer and football. He knows basketball at, at the highest level. Plain and simple, it's mastery. And that's what it's all about. That, that's where the highest paid professionals come from. It's just absolute mastery of one thing. It's the same thing with us, bro. If we can just master one specific thing and then move to the next and stack up these attributes, that's where the real fruitful opportunities come from in life. So side hustles often make us broke because they divide our attention. They divide our focus. And we just put a little effort here, a little effort here, some effort here, an effort here, and it just divides everything. Versus if we took all of it and put it into one thing, it yield the most returns. So I'm in no position, at least because I don't know your situation. If you're one of the people you know we had on our calls, I could work with you, but we're not right now. But if you know, or at least you have a leading indicator on the one thing you want to pursue, go all in, bro. Just go all in. As long as you can, you can live with the side effects of it. And that's your decision, not mine. But this is what I needed to hear. 
three years ago in my life to get me out of where I was currently at that time. So I hope this helps you. I hope you found value in it. Keep crushing it. Stay focused and watch the right stuff. And you got this shit.